Hi guys, it's Yong Xin Hu. Welcome back to the 28 Days Eat with Who's Kitchen video series. It's day 4 today. How is your cooking journey with me so far? I had a lot of fun. What about you guys? A little bit of summary of what we made yesterday. For your breakfast, we made the Chinese spring onion pancake. And for your lunch, we made the teriyaki chicken rice bowl. And for dinner, we made some delicious pepper, mushroom and potato. Make sure you have subscribed to my channel and liked my videos. If you enjoy some of the recipes, don't forget, share them with your friends. So for today's breakfast, I'm gonna teach you guys how to make a really simple dish. It's a broccoli and sweet corn fritters. So first of all, you will need a half broccoli from yesterday. I'm just gonna quickly chop it on my chopping board. The next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put my broccoli in a pan and put on the hob to boil you for about five minutes. Now I'm gonna turn on the hob. We are going to turn the hob on a high heat. And we are going to add some boiling water. If you guys watched my video from yesterday, uh, you probably already know, here we are going to add a tiny bit of oil in our saucepan. Just to keep our broccoli is nice and green. And I'm gonna add a tiny bit of salt here. I'm gonna leave the broccoli in the pan for about five minutes. It has been about five minutes, the broccoli are boiled. I'm gonna drain them and put them on the side to cool a little bit for now. Once the broccoli are cooled and we are going to chop them. So we are going to chop them as small as possible. I'm just gonna chop them to quarters first. And from there we are going to chop them to even smaller. Roughly just like that will do. And now I'm gonna put my chopped broccoli in my glass bowl. So here are my broccoli in the glass bowl now. I'm gonna add half a can of sweet corn here. Here I'm gonna add about 10 grams of plain flour in my glass bowl. However, if you are on diet, you can replace the plain flour to oats. I'm going to put a ball on my scale and I'm going to zero it. And we are going to add about 10 grams plain flour here. It's a little bit too much. That will do. And we are going to add an egg afterwards. So I'm going to crack the egg in my glass bowl. 
we are going to seasoning with a little bit of salt and pepper. I love black pepper, so I will put a little bit of extra black pepper in here. Half teaspoon onion granule in. And then now I'm gonna give them a good mix. So make sure all the eggs, flour, and the vegetables are combined together nicely. Before we're going to fry the fritters, I'm gonna add something extra. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of cheese in a bowl, just help the fritter stay in shape and rather than fall into pieces. I'm gonna give them a quick mix. So here are some tips. After you boil the broccoli, if there are lots of water in your broccoli, make sure you squeeze the most of water out first before you mix it with all the other ingredients. If for some reason your fritters just not stay in shape at all, probably you put in too much broccoli or not enough egg. Make sure you crack another egg in there, mix a little bit of extra flour, they will definitely stay in shape. Here I'm gonna heat my pan and put a tiny bit vegetable oil or olive oil in and I'm gonna light it to heat up a little bit. And then once the oil heat up, I'm gonna turn the heat down to medium high. And here I'm gonna use my silicon tool. I'm just gonna put them straight in the pan and I spoon my mixture on top of the pan, the inside of the circle. At the same time, we're going to press the ingredients down and press them as tight as possible. We are going to leave them in the pan for about 3 minutes and then we're going to flip them. After about 3 minutes and we're going to flip them. It's slightly tricky here because one side is set, another side is not. So here we, we, we use like two spatula and like that and flip them this way and it worked. And here we're going to try to flip another one. Once another side is set, we are going to remove the frying ring. Oops. Here, I will probably turn the heat down a little bit. So we are going to get them out now. We finally managed to take them out. I'm going to show you guys what they look like. Here is my broccoli and sweet corn fritters. Now is the most important part. I'm gonna try my breakfast. Mm. The cheese is quite gooey actually. I think it's fairly hot. Let me give it a try. Mmm, mmm, it's so good, delicious, absolutely delicious guys, mmm. Right, now I'm gonna enjoy my breakfast, I will see you guys at lunch time, bye! Hi guys, welcome back. It's Yong Xin Hu. It's lunch time. So this is gonna be a fairly chilled video. We are going to make a sandwich and 
for my sandwich, I'm gonna put in lots of different ingredients in it. First of all, I will need some hard boiled eggs and I'm gonna put them in the pan and I'm now gonna move to the hob. Now I'm gonna go to boil my eggs. I don't know how you guys gonna do this and for me, I'm gonna use my really cute egg timer here. So I'm just gonna pop this little thing in the pan with the eggs and then I'm gonna add some boiling hot water. I will come back check them in about five minutes ish. Let's go. The next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna prepare my vegetables. Here I'm gonna use some iceberg lettuce and probably half carrot and avocado and the half can sweet corn left from this morning. The first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna chop the carrot to half and put another half in the fridge for now because we don't need them for this dish anymore. We're going to peel the carrot and chop the carrot to slices. And here are my chopped carrot slices. I'm gonna leave them on the side for now. And the next thing I'm gonna chop, I'm gonna chop some lettuce. So um, I'm just gonna quickly check my eggs to see how they are doing in the pan. Looks like they are getting there, but it's not quite there yet. So potentially gonna be about extra a minute-ish. So for my avocado, I'm gonna start from one side, cut it through and around. Basically, I'm moving the avocado and my knife at the same time. And then I'm gonna give it a twist. And for the core, for the core in the middle, I'm just gonna use my knife and twist it. Right, it's nearly there. And for the avocado itself, I'm gonna use a spoon. Let's go in from one side. Like here. Like here. Can see it. Then all the way around. And next one. I'm gonna quickly slice my avocado and just like this. All of my vegetables done. I got my carrot slices and some chopped lettuce and I cut my avocado to slices as well. I'm gonna put them on the side and go back to check my eggs. Now my eggs are done and how I know that, I'm gonna show you guys my spy in the pan. So, it's fairly hot. So, I'm not sure if you guys can see from here. And um, the egg timer has turned to yellow completely. And I'm gonna put them in the cold water to cool down now. 
Before I get all the eggs out, I'm gonna grab a glass bowl and fill the bowl with some cold water. Now I'm gonna get all the eggs out and put them in the cold water straight away. And here I'm just going to slice them and this way. Right, I think four slices are more than enough for me. I'm gonna leave this piece for snacking later on. Now I'm gonna quickly and uh, go to the hole because I'm gonna fry this meat and a few slices of bacon. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put some clean fuel on my chopping board and I'm going to place some bread on my chopping board some butter the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna put the lunch on meat at the bottom I do think after I fry them they look much more delicious now. I'm gonna put them at the bottom. And then I'm gonna put some sliced eggs. And then I'm going to put the avocado on. Carrots. Sweet corn. And some lettuce. Probably a little bit carried away, but you know what? I'm gonna try to put everything in it. Gonna pop this bread down. God. And then I'm going to wrap it from all the side. Make sure all the ingredients stay in place. 
Then I'm gonna slice it. See what it looks like. Oh, that looks delicious. Now I'm gonna cut my sandwich to half. See what it looks like. And that's what we got. And I'm gonna give it a try now. Hmm. Hmm. The luncheon meat definitely tastes way much better after you fry it, honestly. Hmm, it's so good. I'm gonna enjoy my lunch now, guys. I will see you guys at the dinner time. Bye. Hi guys, it's Yong Xin Hu. Welcome back at dinner time. For today's dinner, I'm gonna show you guys how to make my version of spaghetti bolognese. First of all, I'm gonna boil some spaghetti. I'm gonna move to the hob. I'll be back soon. Here, I'm gonna pour some boiling hot water in the pan. I'm gonna put it in some spaghetti. Then I'm gonna turn on the heat. We are going to add a little bit of oil. And a little bit of salt in here. Here, I'm gonna leave my spaghetti in the pan for about 10 minutes. The same time, I'm gonna go back to the bench, prepare some vegetables for the minced sauce. So, once again, this is probably not a traditional recipe for spaghetti bolognese. It's just my version. And I hope you guys are gonna like it as well. And now, I'm going back to prepare my vegetables. So I'm gonna chop some white onion. I'm gonna dice my onion. Here I might chop the onion and I'm now gonna prepare my garlic. I'm gonna use four garlic cloves here. I'm gonna finely chop them. So if you want to see how I prepare my garlic cloves, for example, how to easy peel the skin off, I'm gonna put the link above. You guys can check it out from my another video. And here is my chopped garlic and now I'm gonna add some spring onion chopped onion garlic spring onion and now I'm gonna put a tiny bit of ginger in here I'm just gonna quickly check my spaghetti to see if it's done. Uh, so the spaghetti is slightly under. I'm gonna leave them in there for extra two, three minutes, and then I'm gonna take them out and drain them. Right here, I'm gonna add some olive oil in the pan. I'm gonna put it in all the ingredients which is chopped onions. Spring onion, 
garlic and ginger. Once the pan is warmed up, I'm going to turn the heat down to medium. Then I'm going to add some salt. If you guys watched my previous video, you probably already knew I hate raw onion. So here I'm gonna proper fry the spring onion and the onion in there. And once I think they are cooked, I'm gonna do, add my mince. I think the onions are cooked now. I'm gonna add 250 grams of beef mince. I'm gonna quickly fry everything together once the means change the color I'm gonna add one tablespoon light soy sauce in there just to enhance the flavor so after we added the light soy sauce i'm going to put in a tin of chopped tomato with garlic Give them a quick stir. And I'm gonna add some fresh rosemary in here. Some black pepper. salt so from here we are going to constantly stir it So we are just gonna constantly stir it and chew. So I'm gonna drain the pasta and put them in a bowl. As you can see, the color of the sauce is getting slightly darker because most of the uh, liquid from the chopped tomato is cooking away so we are going to wait until the point most of the liquid left in the pan is be fat rather than you know uh, lots of tomato juice so 
also more black pepper. More salt. As you guys can see, at the moment in the pan, there isn't much tomato juice left. The most liquid in the pan now is beef fat, and we are going to give a quick try. See if our seasoning is spot on. Mm. Yum. Right. Now I'm gonna turn off the hob. Now I'm gonna to serve my version of bolognese sauce on the spaghetti. Right here, I'm just gonna spoon some sauce and pop it on the spaghetti. Smells so good. I'm gonna just add. Tiny bit of extra rosemary here for garnish, and I'm gonna pop on more black pepper and some salt. Here is my version of spaghetti bolognese. Now it's the most important part. Try my version of spaghetti bolognese. Wow, it smells so good. Mmm. 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 It's so good, guys. I think uh, personally, I prefer my version of spaghetti bolognese. I don't know, it's because it's proper freshly cooked. It's not those, you know, microwave food or oven food. It just tastes way much better. I definitely recommend you guys give my version a try and compare the traditional one or your version. Let me know which one tastes better, right? Now, I'm going to enjoy my dinner. I will see you guys tomorrow. Remember to subscribe to my channel and give my videos a like. I will see you guys later. Bye!